Dr. Amano. Looks like you have another problem on the board. I'd like to go over with you a nice sequence, and I'm not sure you've seen a reducing agent called rainy nickel. And I wanted to show you a question involving rainy nickel during synthesis. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take benzene, and I'm going to nitrate it to get compound A. And then I'm going to treat it with hydrogen and rainy nickel. And then I'm going to acetylate it. Then I'm going to brominate it. And then I'm going to add base to it and hydrolyze the molecule to get the final product. Now, before we start, what the hell is rainy nickel? Nickel aluminum alloy that we actually have, we can treat it with sodium hydroxide. This will dissolve the aluminum, but not the nickel. And you would see this in lab. Hydrogen gas is liberated, but some of the hydrogen gas will be absorbed on the nickel surface. We call this rainy nickel. What we're first going to do is we nitrate benzene, HNO3 and H2SO4, to get nitrobenzene. Hydrogen and rainy nickel is one of my favorite ways to take a nitro group into an amino group. And we've made aniline. Now be careful from B to C. This is not a Friedel craft. Friedel craft does not work with aniline. You've got to remember that. Um, also, um, there's no aluminum chloride. You would just take off the H and the CL, and you would produce C called acetanilid. This is a very big electron donating group, and it's going to direct ortho para, but it's so big, we're going to direct the bromine mainly into the para position, and then we hydrolyze this group. Notice I've acetylated it um, in order to protect the group. I protected the NH2 group. It's so reactive, we have to deactivate it a bit. After I protect it, I hydrolyzed it. It breaks off the protecting group, and we get the final product, para-bromo-aniline. And there you have it. That's the way I would go about using rainy nickel in a synthesis on aromatic chemistry. That's a great problem, Dr. Romano. You know what's funny? When you said rainy nickel, I thought you meant like it was raining outside. I guess I'm a little lost. Not raining. When you hear rainy nickel, it's raining hydrogen gas. Good day to you. Oh, I'll remember that. Thanks, Dr. Romano. Another great problem. Good day to you, sir.